Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you this um, new activity tracker, but one with a slight difference. Um, it actually measures blood pressure. Yes, there are trackers out there that uh, do measure blood pressure. Uh, Omron has their Omron watch, it's got a cuff and it inflates, deflates, um, but it's quite expensive, not available in all countries. The Samsung one, uh, Samsung watch, also has blood pressure. I'm not sure what technology that uses, but um, I'm, I'm still a keen fan of Apple, so I, I won't be switching in anytime soon. So the Apple Watch hasn't launched this year uh, with the blood pressure device, so it's gonna be a year away. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna try uh, a device specifically for blood pressure, so I can measure blood pressure through the day. So I've actually got one of these cuffs. Uh, this is my favorite one. It's uh, the, the Omron on the arm auto cuff. And um, that's really good. However, I can't wear that everywhere. Yeah. So I want to be able to measure blood pressure through the day um, without being invasive and without a cuff really. Um, so I thought I'd try the, the new devices out there. Lo and behold, um, this actually really impressed me and I'll, I'll show you why. Okay, so this is the box, nothing special, activity tracker, does heart rate, steps, notifications, calories, mileage, sleep monitoring and remote camera. Hmm. Okay. So, pull it open. Smart and healthy life, hmm. okay. So, it looks like a reasonable watch. This was 45 sing dollars, around 20 pounds or so, 20, 25 pounds. The sensors at the bottom. Okay, we'll the cover for the screen, take that off. Okay, and what else? Hmm, no charging cable. But, okay. Instructions in lots of different languages. You download the app from the App Store. And um, yeah, just looking at the app, it's like any other app. And most interestingly, it's got this part where it says blood pressure calibration. So that's pretty good. So finally worked out how to, to charge it. You just yank off the strap um, close to the, uh, the buttons, the metal buttons, and uh, then just plug it into a USB to charge. So I did um, a quick blood pressure test and uh, I calibrated it against my Omron um, and then I tested again and wow lo and behold it's pretty good so it's got other things like um, heart rate and that was pretty accurate and it's got the, um, uh, the, the oxygen level so uh, we actually have a free oxygen uh, tester as I think I showed you in another video um, free from uh, the Tarmesic uh, Foundation and um, that's pretty close in terms of the accuracy there well compared to another device so here I just tested it at uh, another time and yeah that's pretty accurate and that's close enough and here tested several hours later as well and it's good enough uh, systolic is fine diastolic not so close but yeah good enough then testing a little while later, this is probably the worst, uh, worst, worst difference. Um, 145 over 90 compared to 137 over 84. So yeah, I'm reading a little high there. So I just did a, another test. Uh, maybe it was an outlier. Uh, a few minutes later, and this one's a little strange. It's spa. So yeah, well, devices, devices. Yeah, it's it's close enough for for what I need. And just before bed, I thought I'd just do another quick test. Um, 129 over 79 versus 125 over 78 so yeah definitely close enough trying next day and yeah pretty close 133 over 82 versus 120 over 80 so yeah that's great so here's what's really good it's a tracker which you have on your arm um, you can go to sleep with it you can have it on all day and it will measure your blood pressure every hour, I think it is. So then you've got blood pressure all through your night when you're asleep, all through the day when you're doing all your activities. So then you can see how your blood pressure changes through the day and based on particular activities. So here are my readings. So um, you know, from one o'clock in the morning all the way to 
um, eight o'clock there and um, then it's got the actual readings from a lowest perspective so what time the lowest was that's three o'clock in the morning obviously asleep um, and then the highest which is 12 o'clock um, so yeah it's pretty good and uh, gives you that sort of information so this is the part about the calibration I don't actually understand um, so does it calibrate against the set of data that you press the button against um, or does it calibrate against the average of all the data that you've got in there I have no idea and nothing in the instructions so yeah well as long as it's calibrated and works and is comparable um, yeah that's fine as I said it also does sleep so here uh, another great example um, didn't sleep uh, very much this day uh, sleep duration four and a half hours a week once um, I went to sleep at three o'clock apparently and yes it was and woke up at 7.30 um, deep sleep for 55 minutes and light sleeping for the three and a half hours so yeah that's pretty good if it's uh, measuring that sort of information although it just says sleep quality is good I don't know how it can be that but hey so one thing I haven't seen in many other devices is temperature so this does obviously skin contact temperature and it tells you your temperature through the day so you know obviously with COVID colds this and the other so you've got a high temperature it tells you and actually here it tells you I've got a low temperature which is strange anyway how accurate that is I don't know but yeah it's fun information but I won't be using it so this tracker is made by Valco uh, V-A-L-C-O I don't see any names on this anywhere so no idea why um, and it says it's an activity tracker does heart rate steps notification calories mileage sleep monitoring remote camera no idea about the camera part um, it does also um, ECG so um, yeah there's lots of things that it does in, in one little unit um, it's uh, $45, uh, sing dollars, so around £25, and £25 more than happy to pay for this device. Give me a lot of data all the way through the day, every day, every month, um, because this device I have to put on and I have to um, you know, test it. So it can only test you know, once or twice a day, morning, afternoon, night time at the most. So with this, then I know exactly what's happening constantly through the day. So I hope you found it useful, and um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.